I have a three-part formula that will help you format any introduction. Now today, the example that I'll be sharing is specifically how to introduce yourself during an interview, but you could use this formula for any variety of introduction, whether this is an introduction for a meeting, for a presentation that you might be giving, or an interview. My name is Abby and I bring you life work balance advice every Sunday. When you're introducing yourself, it can be really easy to ramble, to overshare, to undershare, or to just share information that is just plain not relevant. You can keep yourself organized and on track with this simple formula. Present, past, future. Present is what you are currently doing right now. This could be your current job, this could be your current education, current specialized training that you might be involved in. So what are you doing right now that matters to the person who you're talking to? Past is what did you do before that makes you uniquely qualified or is something interesting that would, again, be important for the person that you're communicating with to know. And future is where are you going? And again, specifically with an interview, where are you going that is relevant to the person that you're talking to? Now, a couple of tips when you are introducing yourself. You could keep it very simple and just plain say, hi, I'm Abby, it's nice to meet you. That's a really simple, easy way to introduce yourself, and it doesn't use the formula that I just shared, but it is an easy way to keep it simple. However, if you are asked a question like, tell me about yourself, you're going to want to do more than just say, hi, I'm Abby, nice to meet you. Same thing if you're introducing yourself for a presentation or a meeting. You don't just want to say, hi, I'm Abby. You want to give the viewers or the listeners a reason to actually buy into listening to you. Why does it matter that you're here? What makes you uniquely qualified for this given situation? So you could keep it short and simple and just introduce yourself with your name with the understanding that you may be introducing yourself in more detail later, and you'll likely still use the formula of present, past, future. The other thing to keep in mind when it comes to introducing yourself is keep it short. I would recommend that you keep your introduction between 30 seconds to 90 seconds. There may be times where you need to go into more detail and into more depth with the information that you're sharing. So on the longest end, you may have a three minute introduction. However, that's probably a little bit too long and the sweet spot is between 60 seconds to 90 seconds. That's about 150 words. So if you were to write out your introduction, if you get to that 150 word mark, you've likely come up with about a 60 second introduction. Now, when you are answering the question, tell me about yourself or you're introducing yourself to a group, you want to make sure that the information that you're sharing with the other people is relevant to them. So your answer to the interview question, tell me about yourself, will likely be a little bit different than your introduction if you were speaking at an event. But nonetheless, your format for both of those introductions will be the same. You will be using the present, past, future formula to create that introduction. So I have an example for you of what I might say if I were introducing myself for an interview and answering that question, tell me about yourself. Before I jump into that example, I just wanted to let you know that I have two videos specifically on how to answer the question, tell me about yourself. In both of those videos, I do share this formula, present, past, future, but I go into more detail about how you can answer this question specifically during an interview. So I've linked to those videos in the description box below and I put a card up in the corner so that you can easily access those videos for your next interview. So here's my example of how I would introduce myself in an interview. Hi, my name is Abby and I'm very excited for the opportunity to interview for this role. I'm currently a career coach and organizational consultant. I've owned my own business for almost five years. I'm also a learning and development specialist. I've worked specifically in learning and development for four years, and I've designed and facilitated countless training courses on topics like conflict resolution, communication skills, emotional intelligence, and leadership. In my previous jobs, I've worked in research, both in the compliance side and on the researcher side. I've led teams of people in both formal and informal roles, and my true passion is helping those that I work with grow and develop. I'm excited about bringing my skills and passion to your organization. I'm creative and innovative, and I enjoy working collaboratively with people at all levels of the organization. 
I'm especially excited about the opportunity to help this organization design and implement a leadership development program. I believe my experience sets me up to be a unique and successful candidate for this role. So that introduction was about 60 seconds. You got a good idea of what I currently do in the present, you got an idea of what I did in my previous lives before my current roles, and you got an idea of what I'm hoping to bring to this potential role that I might apply to. So again, keep in mind when you're formulating your introduction to any given situation, the present, past, future formula. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you can receive life work balance advice delivered directly to you every Sunday. Let me know what you thought about this formula in the comments box below. Is this something you could use in your next introduction? If you leave me a comment, I will get back to you as quickly as I am able. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.